Hello everyone. Welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we have to find derivative of tan of ax by using first principle formula. So yes, we have taken this f of x is equals to tan of ax. Now we know that first principle derivative formula. Yes. We have f dash of x is equals to limit h tends to zero f of x plus h minus f of x upon h. Now we have to put down here value of f of x plus h and f of x. Here we have f of x is equals to tan of x. So f of x plus h will be here tan of a x. Plus h, right? Yes, this is tan of a x plus a h. Okay, so yes, we will put down this values here. So here we have this is tan of a x plus a h, and this f of x is here tan of a x, right? Yes. Now we can write this tan as a sine by cos. So here we will have this is sine of a x plus h upon cos of a x plus h. Same here, sine of a x upon this is cos of a x, right? And this upon h. Now we have to do the simplification here. So we will do the cross multiplication so that here we will have yes. On next step, we can write here. This is limit h tends to zero. This is as it is. And in denominator, yes, we will simplify this is here. Yes. Now, yes, we can check that numerator. Here we have this expansion, this sine of a minus b. Yes. What is its expansion here? Yes. We know that this is equals to sine of a into cos of b. Yes, minus cos of a into Sine of b, yes. So we can write here. This is a numerator. We can write this is sine of a x plus a h, and this sine a into cos b, right? So that means here we have minus. This is a x. So this is similar sine a minus b. Yes, sine. Sine of a into cos of b minus cos of a into sine of b. Yes, and this is denominator as it is. Yes, on simplification we will have here. This is sine of a h. This is h into yes. This denominator as it is. Yes. Now we have to put the limit so that yes we can write here. This is sine of a h upon h, and this is yes cos of a x plus a h into this cos of a x, right? So yes, yes we can check that here. Yes we have this formula. This is limit. X tends to zero. The sine of a x upon this a x. Here we have this is one. Yes, we know that the standard result. Yes, so that we can write this sine a h. This is we can adjust here. This is a h. Here we have adjust this a. So we will multiply this is by a right. And same here. 
we will apply this limit on this denominator yes now this is yes by this result we have this is 1 this is a as it is now we have to put the limit here now when we put h is equals to 0 here yes we have to put h is equals to 0 so here we have this is cos of this ax plus 0 and this cos of ax so on simplification we have here this a as it is and this is cos of ax into cos of ax this is yes this is a upon this cos square ax yes and 1 upon cos square ax this is 6 square ax right so yes we have find f dash of x is equals to this is 6 square ax into a yes so we can write this is derivative of this f of x is equals to this is 6 square of ax into a yes and what is f of x yes this is tan of ax yes so derivative of tan of ax is equals to this is 6 square ax into a so yes we have find derivative of tan of ax by using first principle formula so yes we have to remember this formula yes and we have to proceed in this way so yes that's it for now see you in the next video thank you keep watching